today I'm in Woolwich, South East London. Situated on the River Thames, this district has been the centre of industry, naval activity and the storage of military weapons for hundreds of years. Here in the garden of St Mary Magdalene Church, we're going to remember two men called Tom who were renowned for fighting with nothing but their bare fists. The first man was Tom Cribb. Born in 1781 near Bristol, he arrived in London to find work as a porter. Before long, a boxing trainer recognised his natural qualities for a prize fighter and trained him up to challenge the boxing champions of the day. This was bare knuckle fighting, raw and dangerous. There were few rules. No timed rounds, you fought till you were down and given 30 seconds to recover. Prize fighting was a hugely popular spectator sport, particularly among the upper classes who would bet thousands of pounds on a match. By the time Tom Cribb was 29 years old, he hadn't lost a fight for five years. But then, an American former slave called Tom Molyneux challenged him. Cribb accepted the challenge saying, I'm not going to lose to this ebony imposter. After fighting 33 rounds over 55 minutes, Molyneux pinned Cribb on the ropes and he was down. Suddenly, the crowd surged into the ring. So much confusion, somebody distracted the referee while counting. Molyneux's fingers got broken and Tom Cribb was declared the winner. Unsurprisingly, Molyneux was aggrieved at being cheated out of his title. He challenged Cribb to a return match the following year. In 1811, 20,000 spectators arrived at a field in East Sussex to watch this bout. But in the meantime, Tom Molyneux had lost heart and spirit, womanising and drinking when he should have been training. So the match began. 20 minutes later, Cribb had broken Molyneux's jaw and knocked him out. Tom Cribb was now the undisputed bare-knuckle champion. With his prize money, Cribb bought a pub in London's West End. A pub still stands on that very site, renamed Tom Cribb. It's full of memorabilia about his life and fights. But when he was running it, he would hobnob with boxing mad aristocrats, including Lord Byron, who called him a sinner with a wife and a mistress. Rich words coming from the decadent poet, I'd say. But nonetheless, he said he found the boxer quite congenial. Cribb also took part in exhibition fights in front of visiting royals, such as the Emperor of Russia and the King of Prussia. In 1821, King George IV was to be crowned. For this great occasion, Tom Cribb was one of 18 boxers chosen to dress up as a royal page and guard the entrance to Westminster Hall. A passion for gambling was Tom Cribb's undoing. Having got into debt, he lost his pub and went to live with his son, a baker who lived in Woolwich. We can see the house is still there in the high street. Not a bakery any longer, but a Chinese takeaway. At the age of 66, Tom Cribb developed a terminal stomach disease. I wonder though, as he lay dying, whether he ever thought of his old rival, Tom Molyneux. Things might have been so different had the other Tom not been cheated of his winning title on that fateful day. Instead, Molyneux moved to Ireland and died aged 34, a penniless alcoholic, and was buried in an unmarked grave. He's not forgotten though. In 2018, 200 years after his death, an Irish boxer called Katie Taylor 
unveiled a headstone over his grave in a Galway churchyard. But perhaps Tom Cribb's last thoughts were of his own glory days. His last words were, the action's still there, but the steam's all gone. He was buried here in St Mary's churchyard among the people of Woolwich. When it later became overcrowded, most of the tombs and graves were removed. But there is one monument that still remains. A lion stands as a symbol of strength and courage. One paw resting on an urn containing his master's ashes. Perhaps no one dared touch it. We read, sacred to the memory of Thomas Cribb. Born July the 8th, 1781. Died May the 11th, 1848. Respect the ashes of the dead, it says beneath. The landscape of Woolwich is rapidly changing. It became very run down, but is now being regenerated. New apartment blocks are mushrooming along the river. We may lose our beautiful river view, but one thing's for sure. This lion will be faithfully guarding the memory of his master, Tom Cribb, the great bare knuckle fighter, for many years to come.